Hey everybody, it's Kelly and I am back with bonus day two. So bonus day two is going to be across from bonus day one. So we'll want to look at that for color. So I'm just going to kind of leave this to the side. You can kind of see what I've got color. So I've got some pink and green and that kind of stuff. And I'm going to take care of my lack of Christmas tree photos. I have three photos with my Instax camera here. One is of my two smaller trees and then a half shot of my biggest tree. I, there's a lot of furniture around this so it's hard to get anything that looks even half decent with that. So I, I'm just doing this. I have this tree and this I've had this tree in this spot for like four years so I kind of know what it looks like but I want part of it. Then so these are pretty small. This morning I took this photograph and hopefully you guys can see it. It's not a spectacular photograph, but it's a snapshot of life. So this is my big tree looking into my living room. There's my cat sleeping or one of my cats and some of the Christmas decor. And you know, this is real life, what it looked like during the Christmas season. So I like that. I'm going to put it in the six by eight page protector here. And then on the back of it, I have my calendar for 2019 where I wrote all the events and all of that kind of stuff here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with this little spot down here. There's some sp spots here. I don't usually decorate um, kind of in between, but I might. We'll see what I think once I get there. I did put them together already. So that'll go in the 6 by 8 protector. So I'm going to kind of set that aside so I don't lose that. So. Then I told you yesterday that I thought I had an idea for what to do with my cutoff of um, the uh, three by four, and I have to remember this because I threw the last one out. I just used my fuse tool and added um, holes in for these so that I made pockets again. Now it's not going to be a full three by four, so that's one thing you remember. I need to remember by the time I did the fuse and then added in the hole I was left with about two and a half inches so I'm going to I cut some papers here and then I also have this little Mary Mary card that I can use just as sort of a little filler thing so I'm going to put this one this will be across from the tree so I think I'm going to do that or do I want to let's look at this so yeah, I think I'm going to do it like this because this would be across from this so it's not too distracting because this other pattern I think would be too distracting. Now I could go back and do these all in the stripe, but I think not because then this will go like this. So that makes sense to me. All right, so let's glue down first. And this is just my little Instax camera. I had a lot of fun with it in the last couple of days. And I think here I'm going to glue this a little bit higher up because I can maybe put something on the bottom there. I have stickers and puffies and all sorts of stuff left here. And then I think I will do the same thing here. Now, I think I talked about how I have wood veneer left. And I'm thinking I would really like to use that up. So I'm talking about my Christmas tree. This makes sense to do a tree there. Um... And keep in mind it's across here. I could do that. And these actually probably should go on the outside of the card if I'm going to do this. So let's get these in here. I love how the Instax looks really vintage. It's just really cool. Oops, I'm going to have to reseal this one a little bit because it didn't. I stuff stuff in. They actually, I think when they do it with um, the actual ones, they do two of these. So that kind of came out, but I'll fix that. I just need to reheat the tool. And I'm also going to be more gentle now. If I have to, I'll just clip this a little bit. Yeah, they didn't seal quite as well, but that's operator error. It's not the fault of the um, tool. I don't use it all that often. I use it especially at Christmas time or for making 
pockets and that kind of thing. It's one of those tools that um, if you don't do Project Life, you may not use all that often, but when you need it, you need it. So I get lots of use out of it during this month. And that card here kind of clipped. So love the way this looks. I could also, and this was another thought, if you can't do this, what you could do is take some washi, run it along this border, and then poke the holes in it. So, for instance, let's see if I can show you this. I, I did something like this to reinforce my vellum, if you remember that, a couple days ago. This washi is from Queen and Company. It can be sassy, uh, and it's doing it. Uh, anyway, what you do is you do it like this, and then you could just poke the holes along it. And I like the idea. This, I think, is really cute. Um, and maybe I'll do that. You'll see if I change my mind, you'd see that. And then you would just put your holes in that. That might help reinforce these pockets a little bit more. And if you don't have a fuse tool, it just keeps them from coming open. Okay, and then the other thing is, is I still do have these acrylics left. And I've got a tree sitting here. I'm thinking maybe this tree should go, well, I was going to say maybe the tree should go on the inside, but it really can't. Yeah, the tree should go on the inside. <laughs> It'll be more protected because I'm not going to be able to anchor it very easily. Now you can do um, staples with these, remember that. I'm going to hide mine underneath the... Um, So then I'll put this in and it'll really hold it down like this. And then the wood for the outside. Like that. And then I'm thinking this Hello December would be cute. to get that in there. Also kind of makes sense because that card is kind of cut down. Oops, a little bit too much, maybe like this. Okay, there we go. The card is, there's more space at the top than the bottom. Okay, so we have that. Then we have this side. Um, and I've got puffies and I have die cuts. So what else do we have still to be used? I have that celebrate that I could definitely use on here. I have stockings. I'm thinking I want color over here. Let's use these stockings, right? I've been playing around with these stockings for most of the holiday season. <laughs> Time to get them on a page. And I'm actually going to make it work with that holiday favorite thing. Oops. Wait a second, guys, that just went flying. Uh oh. Oh, here it is. Sometimes those do that and then you can't find them. Can't get that too far in there, but I want that to kind of sit, maybe extend it a little bit beyond. Okay, and yay, 
I finally used that up. That makes me really happy. <laughs> now I could, if I did this green washi tape here, it would come that way. I think I don't like that. I think I'm going to leave this off on my book, but just an idea for you that you could do that and see if you can see. Let me bring these up. Um, if you have room, there's two of those lines. There's not two with mine though. So that would make it shorter. It would make it not as wide though and only maybe about two inches wide, which is probably about as wide as that is. So I'm not sure that I would want to do that anyway, but that's an idea. Okay. So this is what this is going to look like here. And then we're going to go here, which this is kind of a busy thing. Maybe if I had to do that over, I would do more of the red, but that's okay. It's what's done is done. And I like that pattern. Okay. Then the question is, so that's this page here. Do I want to do anything with this? And I, I don't think so. Although that's kind of nice. I could do it up in this space up here. Oh, or here I have this little all is calm, all is bright tag here. trying to look at this is just because ironically everything is calm and bright here I don't like it there could also um, use another idea if you have um, these pieces left is you could do them over this. I was just looking to see if I had another tree. I do. Maybe I'll, I'd will i have to staple, but that's okay. I can't see this. Although I kind of like the way this looks. That tree were just a little wider. So I think I do have another tree, but I think it's too small. It's not going to stand up to the tag, I think, but we'll see. Yeah, it needs to be this other tree. So what I'm going to do, oh, and I have to be careful about this because I do have this glue down in the back here. I'm going to just grab my tiny attacher here and just attach this tree to make my life easier. Okay, so I have one staple in on this. That's close enough. Then what I'll do is grab this. trying to decide whether I like it here or here and I think I like it down a little bit probably could have moved it over just a little bit more that direction but it's fine then I'm just going to take a little piece of this twine and I did not, when I kind of thought about what I wanted to do for this page, I didn't even think about doing anything like this. But I'm so glad that I'm actually going to get some more of this acrylic on here in kind of a really cool way and that I used another piece of my die cuts. And I don't have that many die cuts left so there's a few here and these are actually from last year. Okay, so like in that, I'm going to just put a little bit more glue down here. If I wanted to, I can take a peek, quick peek of, at the puffies here and see if there's anything I might want to use. Just thought about, I'm almost, this is the one sheet that the other pieces were on. I think there's not green here though, but I could grab some green here. 
I'm thinking. One up here, maybe. One down there. Maybe just a green there. Although, <laughs> I'm not liking the squares now that I have the squares on. So let's change this, maybe. To pink. So pink and the blue. So green. Pink and blue. Okay. So just a little something on that page. So I'm liking the way this looks. This is what it looks like in the spread. Actually, this is really what it's going to look like in the spread, but that's fine. I could, if I wanted to, again, put something in between, you know, a little bit of vellum with something on it. Not thinking I'm going to do that right now. But if it bothers me when I go through the walkthrough of my book and then I do want to go through and see if I can get any more wood veneer in or any other stickers or anything. And I will do that without the camera on because it's going to take me a while. I'm going to go through each spread and look and see if there's anything I think is missing. That's always a good thing to do at the end. And then lastly, I have my calendar here. And what I want to do, I think, is just grab a little bit of this washi tape here make it extra long here and I'm going to do this good times kind of piece here as well so I'm thinking this needs to come down just a little bit oops we don't want it going over the writing there and I kind of like that it has that crazy edge to it and now I think this needs to come up just a little <sighs> Okay, there's that. And I think this is appropriate because it was, was a lot of good times this holiday season. So then what I'm doing, I thought it needed to come down a little bit because I wanted the reveal at the top and the bottom to be about the same. And I'm just going to take this washi, wrap it under, and then I'm actually going to just tape this down so it sits a little bit better. This goes in the book here. I don't think I want anything more on here. I think we're good. I, you know, I already have a little bit of decoration up here. I think that ties in nicely. It's simple. Sometimes, guys, I will put this on the back cover and decorate my front cover. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. So sometimes if I run out of room, and this ends up being a photograph, which if I had stopped before the tree stuff is what would have happened. Sometimes I'll just tape that to the back or the front cover and put something on the back of the front cover. I think I'm leaving those blank this year um, just because they've got a pattern to them already, and I don't think I need anything more in this book. Plus, my supplies are not quite the exact colors. This is a little bit more muted than my actual supplies, but I worked with it this year. I was okay with it. So that's bonus day two done, you guys. The next video you will see will be my walkthrough. I'm going to try to get that done so you can see that tomorrow. But we'll see how it works out um, in the end if that actually works. But that's it, guys. That's December Daily for 2019 in the books. And I'm really, I'm loving it. I'm loving how um, the book turned out. This is, and I love the little Instax photos here with this little pocket. This was one of my favorite techniques this year where I cut the three by four and a half. I saw Chamel do it at one point and started doing it a lot myself just to get some extra pictures in without using a ton of filler cards. Although that's a nice thing to do too if you have a lot of those three by four cards left. And I still do have, um, of loose three by four cards, I still have this stack. Some of these are probably things that because they're in this creamy color that I don't use as often but you know I use quite a bit of those up this year and I still have scrapbooking to do for the year so I journal on these kinds of things um, and just a couple you know, still have a couple of these um, oops this is not supposed to be in here <laughs> that was from the other day 
I still have a couple of these left, but you know, I can take things like this January thing and get it on layouts and that kind of stuff. I think this would be a fun one to kind of talk about what was going on during the season and that kind of thing. Here's a Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, evening, afternoon thing, which for me is not quite as appropriate. Um, you know, I don't have little kids running around and I'm not necessarily with my grandkids at that point in time. So that might be one that I don't use all that you know, all that often or all that much, but we'll see, you know, you never know. But I really think from where this came from, it was so packed both sides. Look at that. I've used that many cards. Plus I used, I think two or three of these guys too. So looking pretty good. Um, I am not going to put my supplies away because I have a lot of Christmas, oops, sorry guys, a lot of, um, Christmas crafting yet to do. I haven't done, I think I've done maybe two 12 by 12 layouts. I've got all the rest of the 12 by 12s to do. So Hope you guys are well. I'll be back next with a walkthrough. And thanks so much for all your really super kind comments this year. Um, thanks for just your encouragement, your suggestions as things happened. Um, as you can tell, I do have my computer back up. That, that's always, you know, crazy. To add to the craziness of doing a video every day, you know, crazy. But um, that all worked out really well. But really seriously, just thanks for all your likes, your comments, and just the encouragement for doing this. And um, December Daily 2019 in the books. Bye, everybody. Hope you're well.